Kiara. This is 5-Minute Global News for Kids and Teens Series. Episode 21. English pronunciation and both English and traditional Chinese transcripts are included. Boeing 787 plane capable of carrying 300 passengers lands in Antarctica in World First. Original by Narbe Manassian, November 18, 2023, Sky News. In a groundbreaking event, a Boeing 787 Dreamliner, capable of carrying over 300 passengers, landed in Antarctica at Troll Airfield. This achievement, hailed as a world first, involved a team of 45 researchers and staff from the Norwegian Polar Institute carrying 12 tons of research equipment. The Institute's director, Camilla Breck, described it as a milestone for air traffic to Queen Maud land, highlighting the potential for improved research logistics in Antarctica. The Troll Airfield, operational only between October and March, is a key location for Antarctic research. While this successful landing of a large aircraft opens new possibilities for Antarctic exploration, there are no plans for commercial flights. The primary focus remains on research and environmental benefits, such as reducing trips and minimizing emissions in the region. This historic flight also fostered international collaboration with passengers from various countries on board. North Atlantic Airways, responsible for the flight, expressed pride in being part of this significant event. Small Island Nations Most at Risk from Climate Change Events Original, the 20th of November 2023, Radio New Zealand a study by Victoria University professor Eon Noe shows small island nations, mainly in the Caribbean and Pacific, face high risks from climate change, more so than poorer countries. These nations, heavily coastal and reliant on tourism and limited agriculture, could lose as much as their entire yearly GDP due to climate-related disasters. Between 2000 and 2022, over 10,000 deaths in these regions were linked to extreme weather, with climate change being a significant factor. Ahead of the COP28 climate summit in Dubai, the study underscores the urgency for richer countries to compensate smaller, vulnerable nations for climate damages. The summit will focus on finalizing a loss and damage fund aimed at helping countries severely impacted by climate change. The challenge lies in linking specific events to climate change for fair distribution of the fund, which is expected to cover damages worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Infrared cameras enable this Swedish factory to sort more plastic than anywhere else in the world. Original by Euronews Green with AP, November 16, 2023, Euronews. In Sweden, the Site Zero factory in Motala is set to revolutionize plastic recycling. As the world's largest facility of its kind, it can sort 20,000 tons of plastic packaging yearly. Utilizing advanced technology, including infrared cameras, it separates waste into 12 different plastic types, aiming to double Sweden's recycling capability. This development is significant, as global plastic waste is expected to triple by 2060. The launch of Site Zero is timely, coinciding with global negotiations for a plastic pollution treaty. The plant's success in reducing plastic incineration is vital, as burning plastic contributes to greenhouse gas emissions. However, achieving maximum recycling efficiency also depends on households correctly separating their waste. The plant symbolizes a major step towards sustainable waste management, emphasizing both technological innovation and the essential role of community participation in environmental conservation. We are really grateful that you took the time to listen. 
If you find value in this video, please consider sharing, liking, and subscribing. Also, do not forget to turn on the notification bell. A wonderful day to you all!